channel. Thank you for joining me this week. I figured uh, right before uh, things start warming up and we really get crazy around here, give you a little update on a few projects ongoing, give you some status updates for those of you who've been kind of curious and following along with what's going on for some of these animals. So let's take a look. recent video giving you guys an update on what's going on with the Kribos, but this girl is looking absolutely huge. She's just bigger than I've ever seen her. Swollen beyond belief, popping, and now refusing food. Um, got her to a point where we were feeding her a couple chicks every three days or so. She was smashing food and then she just kind of hit her limit and should be going into what I would expect is a pre-lay shed soon. So that's where she's at, which means this incubator is now going to be up and running. I'm trying to get it to run at about 79 degrees. And these things aren't perfect. You can pick these up on Amazon, but it does heat and cool. And so I'm just kind of getting it going now. I don't expect eggs for maybe a month, but it's good to get it going ahead of time and start running it. I'm gonna put a Govi reader in there soon and uh, really monitor it, but I want it kind of around 79 degrees. So yeah, hopefully with any luck, get a good, nice, healthy clutch of Kribo eggs and with any more luck, I won't screw them up this time. I also recently switched up the substrate that I was keeping my hog nose on and uh, I was keeping them on Aspen and it was okay but I was noticing some dry sheds and having to help them out a little bit and I decided to watch uh, one of Clover's Reptiles recent videos who's a, a fellow YouTuber on here who does uh, hog nose specifically and I noticed what substrate he was using looked more like uh, a cocoa fiber sort of based uh, mixture with some moss and other things in there so I figured I'm gonna give that a try with the aspen they kind of just moved it around and I find that they were able to make some burrows but really they were just kind of cruising around on the bottom of the tub well I set them up in this soil mixture that I made today and my goodness is it hilarious to see one what they look like and two a complete behavioral shift so call it behavioral enrichment for for the hog nose but uh, it's hilarious because they love it. So check this out. Zoom. Got dirt on our head. Look at that. Hilarious. She's been moseying around in here. Making tunnels, burrowing around, having a good old time. It's awesome to see. She's pretty happy. This is my... Uh, little anaconda double het snow With a little nice little dirt face pretty fun this little dude is clearly having a blast <laughs> what's up buddy you can actually see somewhat of his reds under this light a little bit better he's my het sable male He's this beautiful red tone. Of course, he's also enjoying his new dirt. Maybe a little bit too much, but I'm not judging. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Looks a little more red under this light than last time I showed him off. But they're growing nicely. They've graduated from pinkies to fuzzies recently, so now they're really gonna start taking off. And yes, what you hear in the background here are some little baby mice. I do breed and supplement my, my frozen food bill with some live mice breeding here and there. And give them all sorts of enrichment too. So don't call me out. Fluffy's settling in nicely. She's in her hide where she spends most of her time kind of just chilling out. Still 
getting used to the new surroundings, I'd say. But she's eating for me, which is a good sign. She had a good shed for me, so quick little update on Fluffy. As far as the carpet breeding projects go, um, a couple of the poplin pairs look like they're going. Uh, the brettles are still at the shop getting deep coal, deep cooled, nice and cold. Um, a couple of the jungle pairs look okay, but I'm kind of at that weird point in the season that you'll hear other breeders talk about where you're, you don't think much is happening at all. I'm sure I'll get a few clutches, but um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, hoping for several. Open for the albino Darwins. They've been locking up plenty. Uh, should have a good clutch from the head exanic Popwin, so we'll get some redemption on that clutch hopefully this season as well. They've been pairing. She's nice and thick, so we'll see how that goes. The uh, little exanic tiger male, he's still pretty young. I don't think he's going to do much, so um, not expecting much out of him, but the possible super hypo tiger might be getting it done with one of the, the tiger head exanic females so fingers crossed that one goes through um the striped jungles i've seen let's see one two three i've seen several locks between my striped jungle male and uh both of the females i've been pairing him with so we'll see what happens there the mia pairing is not doing anything so that's awesome and yeah what else am I breeding? Yeah, I think that's it. Not a lot going on. It's kind of that weird quiet time in the season where getting ready to warm things up next week and start feeding. Not really done feeding because I still feed a few things, but yeah, it's going to pick up pretty soon here. Babies are slowly moving out. This is getting empty little by little. Uh, I've got quite a few animals that are slotted to, to come out. All these orange tags and pink tags mean they're spoken for and they're going. The green ones are available up on the website at rileysreptiles.com. Uh, so don't hesitate to go check those out. I get really good shipping rates, obviously, with my sponsor, uh, Reptiles Express. So, uh, yeah, animals are very affordable right now. Shipping's cheap. I know that tax return just hit for some of y'all, so... Let's make it happen. Also, I am going to be vending Pomona uh, at the end of June. So that will be the, the Pomona Reptile Super Show. So I will be set up with a booth uh, alongside Glenn Reptiles. He'll be there with his myriad of beautiful um, colubrids and photographs and all sorts of creative stuff that he likes to do. And I will be bringing uh, my my bread and butter, some, some carpet pythons, and uh, probably a few blood pythons from the shop. So be sure to come check those out. Uh, if you see something on the website that you want and you're planning on being at the show, let me know. Um, save you some shipping and I'll just bring it out down for you. And I think we'll wrap this up on a last but not least, but this is my beautiful female red Zeppelin corn produced by Glenn Reptiles. See that segue, that transition there? Yep, 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 did that. This girl's uh, going on three years old uh, this year. So I didn't roommate her because um, I was kind of told that like, you know, with corn snakes these days, if you just get them cold, sometimes they're, they're just fine doing that. But she has been getting into the 60s, um, has been off food for a while. And uh, as I start warming everybody up, I think we'll try some pairing, feeding, pairing, that sort of thing. But I don't have high hopes. Um, the male is interested. She is not typical. Uh, and yeah, we'll see what happens. She's grumpy. She's really mad at me. We'll put her away. But that's going to do it for this one. I'm going to wrap it up there. Just kind of a, a quick update video for everybody. Um, yeah, thank you to all my sponsors. Reptiles Express, Heli Guy Serpents, uh, PremiumCrickets.com. Everybody go check them out. Um, Heli Guy Serpents, Chris makes amazing 3D printed stuff. Reptiles Express, awesome shipping company. Uh, don't forget, there is that shipping coupon, Riley50, to get you a discount there on your shipping. Uh, same with PremiumCrickets.com, Riley15 at checkout will get you 15% off. 
So, the Riley 50 at uh, Reptiles Express gets you a um, discount on your shipping labels for up to 10 labels per customer. So, and it'll bring you up to about 50% off of uh, the market price for shipping. So, definitely don't miss out on that. Just keeping that rolling. And uh, yeah, other than the sponsors, thank you to all my patrons. Go give a uh, Give that a check out if you're interested in joining the family. Look me up, RileyJimson on Patreon.com. Uh, don't forget to go support US Arc in US Arc, Florida. Become a member. I'll have all that information below. And uh, on that note, don't forget to check out the website again, Riley, uh, Riley'sReptiles.com. Yeah. I got some cleaner to do. I'll see you next week. Hope you enjoyed the update. Later. Later.